Hello what's up guys welcome in this video, today we will be reviewing a book that is so popular in the game development industry, Game Feel, a game designer's guide to virtual sensation by Steve Swank. If we didn't miss yes my name is Walid from Spectra Games and I'm an indie games developer. So before starting our this process, I'm gonna tell you directly, you should definitely read this damn book. It's a f***ing masterpiece, there was no book like it and there will never be, let's go see what makes it so special. So if you are making a game or tried this before, you must have noticed that there's everything on the internet. How to make this, how to do this, how to implement this feature, wherever you are searching. But try to type game feel or something like this in Google search bar or YouTube, you will find some videos or topics, yes. But they are super limited, no offense, but they explain nothing, nada. Knowing that the game feel is the most important thing in games. As a games developer, as an entrepreneur, you want to make players feel the game if you want it to be successful. You must have played the game before and started leaning to the left and then right, trying to look at the scene from sight so you try to see more, and then the game starts playing on your emotions. Sometimes you feel happy because you accomplished something, sometimes you get angry because you lost. All of this is game feel. You are communicating with the game, and that's what you want to create if you want people to play it. The author of this book built his masterpiece starting from the exact definition of game feel from multiple points of views, explaining that game feel is the process of interaction or conversation between the player and your game. Without it, your game will fall in a place between frustration and boredom. And this part that I just explained is called real-time control. I mean this interaction between the player and the game. It is one from the pillars of game feel. Second pillar of game feel is simulated space, and it refers to simulated physical interactions in virtual space. This means collisions detection and response from real-time control and objects in a game world. Third and last pillar is polish. It refers to any effect that artificially enhances interaction without changing the underlying simulation. This could mean particle effects, sound effects, a camera shake when colliding with another game objects, etc. Let's now imagine those pillars as building blocks. It will be something just like this. As you can see the numbers 5, 6, 7 are those pillars we just talked about. 2 is a game that has no polish. 3 is a game that has no simulated space. 4 is a game that has no real time control. And last but not least 1 is a game that has an amazing game feel. Do you think that I explained a lot? Believe me, I'm not a spoiler, this is just a tiny part from what the author explained. After that definition, the author will take you to discover the metrics of game feel by exploring its measures. And the goal from this process is to have the ability to compare the feel of one game to another meaningfully. And he will explain to you in depth why some games feel good, why others doesn't even if they have some of the pillars we seen in the definition. You will discover also what's the meaning of some words people tell you if they tested your game, like floaty, loose, tight and responsive, and how you should work on your game if you heard some of your testers or players say anything like this about it. It's a very interesting part even for programmers, not just designers, because knowing this for a programmer will allow him to understand the mentality of a designer, and that of course will help them to make a better product. After this amazing part, he will start talking about the principles of game feel. It's a really short chapter in which has gonna explain some secondary pillars of game feel that will make the game look even more gorgeous. Next, you will get some amazing practical examples to everything he talked about in the previous chapters. He will take you in a tower analyzing the game feel of some of the popular games like Asteroids, Super Mario Brothers. Bionic Commando, Super Mario 64, and Raptor Safari, and you will understand stuff you didn't pay attention to when he was explaining in the previous chapters, and everything will become clear to you. At the end, he will talk about the future of game feel. He's gonna start making some hypotheses to what might happen in the future in games development industry in a general way, and game feel in a special way. And the book will end at this point. If you want to hear my opinion about this book, like I said before, I really recommend it. And I think that reading it is a must, whether you are a designer, a programmer, or even a composer. This book has about 370 pages, and you can get it from Amazon if you want. You will find the link to it in the description box. 
this is the end of this video, give it a thumbs up if you like it, smash subscribe and hit the notification bell because I drop cool videos every week and you don't wanna miss them, see you soon.